What if an asteroid hits Earth? It's a fact. The universe hates us. Every day, it is trying its best to kill us. Whether it is trying to fry us with radiation or trying to bombard us, every day is a fight for survival. Welcome to Mystify, and today, we'll look at what would happen if an asteroid hits Earth. The severity of the impact of an asteroid on Earth depends on two factors, mass and velocity. Earth is bombarded by about 100 tons of sand-sized particles every day. Sometimes, meteorites that crash into the Moon and Mars send fragments into space, which then hits Earth. Think about that the next time you are wiping dust off your shelves. Some of that dust could be from the Moon, Mars or deep within outer space. So, what if an asteroid the size of a football hits Earth at an incredible speed? Not much. Our atmosphere serves as a shield and when these rocky missiles enter our atmosphere at high speeds, friction will cause the rock to burn out. You will probably see a tiny streak across the sky and make a wish afterward. Once a year, a car-sized asteroid enters Earth's atmosphere and luckily, it too doesn't reach the surface. You will, however, panic for a little while as you see an impressive fireball streaking across the sky. But soon thereafter, it would be as if it was never there in the first place. Not so long ago, the world watched in the air as videos flooded social media of a gigantic fireball that exploded over Russia. In 2013, an asteroid with a diameter the same as the width of a basketball court entered the atmosphere and exploded before impact. The shock wave of the explosion scattered glass for miles and injured 1,600 people. Now, what would happen if an asteroid the size of a football stadium head to Earth? This happens about every 2,000 years and they do pass our protective shield to finally slam into the Earth and cause extensive damage. Take a look at this massive crater in Arizona. The crater which is 1.2 kilometers or 0.75 miles across and 180 meters or 600 feet deep was caused by an asteroid about half the size of a football pitch in diameter. Can you imagine what would happen if that happened in the heart of a big city like New York or London? Astronomers constantly scan the skies for incoming threats. They raise the alarms when an asteroid comes within 7.4 million kilometers or 4.6 million miles of Earth and is at least 140 meters or 460 feet in diameter. This asteroid will destroy an entire city and could also trigger earthquake globally and even tsunamis. Lastly, there are planet killers. Extinction-level event impacts are caused by comets or asteroids, like the one that killed the dinosaurs. This asteroid was between 10 to 15 kilometers wide and caused a crater 150 kilometers in diameter. In the milliseconds before it slammed into the Earth at a speed of roughly 150 times faster than a jetliner, it generated enough power on the entry that it instantly evaporated the ocean beneath. When it slammed into the bedrock, it released energy the equivalent of 10 billion Hiroshima bombs. Computer modeling of the impact shows that the creation of the crater caused 1.5 kilometer or 1 mile high tsunamis that dissimulated coastlines for thousands of miles. The force and heat caused an effect called liquefaction, turning the rock into liquid instantly. Just like the upward splash caused by a pebble you drop into the water, the molten rock splashed upward and rained back down. After the impact, the splashed up superheated rocks rained down for thousands of miles, causing widespread wildfires. And after the fire came the cold. It also released 25 gigatons of sulfur and 425 gigatons of carbon dioxide which blocked out the sun for three years, causing global temperatures to drop on average by 26 degrees Celsius. This event caused 75% of species to die. But on the bright side, it gave us humans the opportunity to evolve, safe from T-Rexes and other monstrous dinosaurs. 
Thank you for watching Mystify. We hope to see you soon.